Hello everyone, it's time for Jello Tester. It is a gray and rainy day here in the nation's capital. It was supposed to be snow, it is not snow. Well, it looks like snow and then it's rain. And we are going to make a salad with a lot of colors and also Jello. This recipe comes to us from the Old Recipes subreddit, a true treasure trove of old recipes of all stripes, not just Jello. This week, I say week like I do this every week. I will never do this every week. This is all free. You're welcome. We are making a jello salad that involves jello, fruit, nuts, vegetables, and marshmallows. Let me just read you the recipe. This is a clipping from newspaper. You'll see it on your screen here. Future me, edit the picture in. Marshmallows do perk up salads. Marshmallows perk salads up from the point of view of appearance and lightness as well as flavor. White, fluffy, and sweet. White, fluffy, and sweet. It's me. Well, two out of three ain't bad. They provide pleasing contrast in color and in taste. Recipe makes six servings. In a bowl, combine one three ounce package lemon flavored gelatin and one cup hot water. Stir until gelatin is completely dissolved. Stir in one cup cold water, chill. I did that before I started filming. Cut one quarter pound, about 16, marshmallows in eighths with wet scissors. I don't know about you, but the phrase wet scissors is like, there's something gross about it. Anyway, I didn't do that. I just got mini marshmallows. When gelatin mixture begins to thicken, fold in a half cup of grated carrots, a half cup of shredded cabbage, one cup chopped peeled apples. The varietal of apple I chose was the pizzazz apple because it was on sale. One quarter cup chopped nut meats, the recipe does not specify which meat of which nut it wants. So this is mixed nuts, which I chopped in my food processor. Fold it all in, you pour it into six individual molds. I'm not doing that. I'm using my beautiful sharp corners one. Chill until firm, unmold on crisp greens, salad remember, and serve with mayonnaise. I gotta remember to serve this with mayonnaise mayonnaise essentially this is just putting a bunch of shit in some jello mixing it up and pouring it into the mold hooray let me oil up my jello mold i don't always do this but there's just a lot of mix-ins here i feel like i'm at a cold stone i hate cold stone they moved into a spot on state street in madison wisconsin where i used to live like half a block down and across the street from a local ice cream store and cold stone moved in to try to like get into the market and guess what? That Cold Stone is gone. And guess who's still there? The chocolate shop. You burnt. I hate Cold Stone. Shredded carrots. Great. Love carrots. When I was a kid, one of my aunts, I think my Aunt Mary, used to make a Jello salad that was just orange Jello and shredded carrots. And honestly, it was good. I don't think I let this thicken enough, but I got impatient. So we're gonna deal with it. Apples, nut meats. That feels about right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know when you like dare your friend to eat a bunch of stuff that you put together like ketchup and mustard and soda and non-dairy creamer and whatever and like blend it up and make them drink it? That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> it smells like lemon jello and nuts mostly. I can't really smell anything else. The piece de resistance mini marshmallows. Wee! Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so much marshmallows and I didn't even put in as many marshmallows as this recipe asked for. It's not gonna fit in my mold. Here we go anyway. Oh, it did fit. Look at that. What have I done? <laughs> this is a food crime. <laughs> well, that's all in there and I'm going to let it set up and we're going to try it in a little while. So get ready. All right, folks, it is time to find out what's going on in here. <laughs> Are the marshmallows distributed throughout the jello mold? We don't know. Are the vegetables distributed throughout the jello mold? We don't know. Is the fruit distributed throughout the jello mold? We also don't know that, but we're going to find out right now. 
overturn the jello mold onto this bed of crisp greens. <laughs> Shout out to iceberg lettuce though. It's so crisp and crunchy. Like, have you ever had a wedge salad? And it's just a wedge of iceberg lettuce with a bunch of dressing and some bacon on it. It's a good. <laughs> Can you hear that? Oh. It's not the color I thought it was gonna be. I don't know what color I thought it was gonna be, but it's not the color I thought it was gonna be. Oh, wow. It looks like the color of like a turkey in an advertisement for turkey that's been like roasted. <laughs> Let's see what the distribution is like here. Ooh, the distribution is okay. Can you see in there? <laughs> There's marshmallows throughout. It looks like fake vomit from the joke store. It smells mostly like nuts. Here's a slice. It said in the recipe to serve with mayonnaise, so I have some Hellman's here. All right, let me get a good bite. A lot of textures in here. Fluffy, crunchy, goopy. Why am I blowing on this? I'm blowing on it so it'll taste better. I really don't have words for this. The nut flavor, don't say nut flavor. The nut flavor is overpowering. The cabbage stayed very crisp. And I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Having the goal be this texture is completely confusing to me. And you know, part of it is like at the height of their popularity, Jello salads were like fancy because back in the day, gelatin was expensive. And so anything that's expensive is fancy, which is a, a whole separate discussion about class and American culture. <laughs> that's not my beat. My beat is Jello. I sort of understand wanting to make something look interesting. A lot of the molds that you see when you look through a lot of vintage Jello recipes are ways to make something that tends to look unappetizing, like tuna salad, look more appetizing. Not necessarily taste more appetizing, but like look beautiful. And again, there's a whole discussion about beauty and what is beautiful. And I feel like even if you think Jello molds are gross, there's something beautiful <laughs> about a clear, colorful thing that looks like a jewel on your table. So like, I get that, but this doesn't even look good. It tastes like what's in it. It doesn't taste like anything more than that. I feel like that's, I've said that before. This doesn't even look pretty. And I don't think there's anything I could have done to make it look prettier. The nuts don't belong here. It's not the marshmallows that don't belong here. It's the nuts. The nuts are too powerful. The way this could be good Get rid of the nuts, they're too powerful. The nuts are too powerful. Get rid of the cabbage and make it an apple carrot marshmallow jello mold. And I think that might be okay. Not like good, but okay. And it would make sense on like a flavor profile level. This didn't really have a, a title. So let's call it apple coleslaw marshmallow surprise. <laughs> the surprise is it's bad.